Okay, guys, I finished setting up my Winmax generator. I changed quite a bit of electrical here. Um, there's the charge controller. Uh, green light blinking means it's charging. Uh, the other light, solid green, means the batteries are uh, close to full. Uh, there's my 120 amp uh, disconnect switch and our meters. If we're putting it in that right now, a couple amps. Um, I'll go over the wind speeds here in a second. Uh, today we got a bit of a storm uh, blowing in, so it's starting to pick up a little bit now. I wanted to show you what I did with the fusing coming in. Now, I had that same conduit, um, but I rerouted it, and it's actually an inch and a, and a half. Uh, I stated in another video that it was two inches. Uh, so I put this box in, and in this box is where I put my fusing for the uh, unit. So each of the three phases are on my 100 amp fuses. Um, it actually turned out pretty good. It leaves me enough room to set another one over here. Um, so when I have my second turbine on the house, uh, I can bring everything in through that and do the same thing. Um, I'll show you their weather forecast for today. They're saying uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. Uh, the date is right there, May 31st. So we have uh, thunderstorms blowing in and 10 to 15 miles uh, southwest wind. So here's my new toy. I picked this up at Walmart um, for $50. It's got a little uh, wind gauge you can mount on the peak. Uh, it'll tell you gusts um, and your wind speed. So the wind's dying out a little bit. Uh, we still are putting out a charge according to the green light. Uh, not seeing much of an amperage right now. Um, see if we get a gust here, I'm hoping. Uh, 10 to 15 mile an hour gusts, I've seen it pop up to 8 to 10 amps already, um, so I'm already impressed with the output, to be honest with you, with this wind max. Uh, it's everything I expected and then some. Uh, it's not even broken in yet, I just got it up yesterday, uh, just finished all the work yesterday and hooked it up yesterday, so it's, uh, oh, there we get a little bit of a spike, Let's see if we get a gust here. It's about 8 amps. Let's see what we had for a gust. It's a steady 6 mile an hour wind, 10.7 mile an hour gust. Um, these blades are awesome. Now, I, I did run number 6s uh, all the way AC out to that uh, turbine. Um, I, I don't like the skimp on weather. That's my personal preference. I spend the money once and, um, and that's that. So that's. Uh, how I like to do it. So, um, I went over my inverter last time. One thing I didn't mention is that this is also a charger. Uh, I'm really happy with this inverter. So basically, it uh, it hooks up to your panel on uh, a 30 amp breaker, and you could charge your batteries off this 80 amp charger, um, and it'll charge your batteries. Uh, you know, depending on your amp hour total. Uh, you know. Um, you know, about eight hours, depending on what your total is, if you're close to a thousand amp hour battery setup. So, um, you know, if you know a storm's coming in or something like that, uh, I think it's a cool feature. Your batteries are low and you didn't have a lot of sun. Um, right now I have no solar panels, but I do plan on having them in the not so distant future. So, uh, the other thing too is like uh, this panel is a generator transfer switch panel. Uh, so basically with, with, there's an outlet on the outside of the house, 30 amp uh, twist lock outlet, that I can hook up a, a I have an 8,000 watt generator too. Um, and I flip the main off and then flick this breaker on and now my generator's powering my whole entire panel along with the sub panel. Um, now when I want to switch to battery power, this is my main disconnect for that. And basically we have house and batteries. Uh, this is an interlocking uh, panel cover, so when one breaker goes on, the other one gets switched off, so you can only have one source of power at a time. In here, I only have I have a hot leg and the neutral hooked up to the breaker, so I'm breaking the neutral and the hot off of this disconnect. Um, so it's isolating the neutral too as well, so the neutral that's coming from the inverter isn't tied to the house neutral at all. Um, and then this is separately grounded uh, too as well, the sub-panel. Um, and then these are the circuits that I run off the uh, generated power that I create, uh, which right now is just wind, which will be solar in the not so distant future too as well, with multiple turbines. So, 
I just want to give you guys an update. I did not put the WinMax generator through all kinds of testing like I did with the PMAs. I'll be honest with you, I was impressed with it right out of the box. I didn't feel I had the need. Uh, I, was, I didn't feel I, I had the need to. Um, I think it was going to do everything they said it would. Uh, today, earlier today, we were getting really light winds early this morning, um, and I was really watching closest, but most of the day just watching what it would do. Uh, they are very accurate with their startup wind speeds to what they say their specifications on the website. They're accurate to a T as far as their cut-in wind speed, accurate to a T. Um, I am very impressed. Uh, there is no exaggeration or BS with this WinMax generator. Um, what they say their, their wind generator will start up and, and I get turbulent winds uh, at that location that I have my if you've looked at my previous videos where I have my turbine mounted so um, just wanted to give you guys an update and show you uh, that we're charging batteries already and let's see what we get here oh, other gust let me get up to 8 amps sir I hope uh, I hope we see us some 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts I, I doubt we will uh, but I want to see what type of amperage you know, if they're as accurate as they, with, with everything else they've been with the wattage, you know, this should see upwards of 30 amps in a 30 mile an hour wind um, is what their peak is rated as. Um, so this is a low wind model. Again, guys, it's the HY uh, 400 um, 12 volt 5 blade low wind model. Um, this isn't even their high end, their high output one. Uh, this is just their least expensive uh, low wind model. So uh, I'm really impressed with it. So. Thanks, guys. Okay, it's about five minutes after that last video here. I um, figured I'd take you out here and let you see it. Uh, and the wind's dying out a little bit again. Now, one thing I noticed is blades, they have a lot of momentum. Um, you know, the second the wind dies out, they don't stop. Uh, they, they crank. They do have a little bit of sound to them. Uh, a little bit of a, like a, a swishing sound. Sounds almost like a dryer vent. Um, but uh, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's an amazing turbine. Uh, I did change a few things. That's why it took me a little while to get it up. I had to uh, get rid of that inch and a half galvanized riser, um, put in a two inch riser. Uh, it's more stable. It impressed me actually, uh, the two inch, the strength of the two inch versus the inch and a half. Uh, doesn't seem to flex nearly as much. Uh, and it uh, seems to be more secure. As you can see, I don't have any guide wires on it. Never did in the past. Um, I didn't have any issues, so I don't think with the two inch I'm, I'm gonna have any issues now. It's even getting closer. I have two two inch straps uh, at, in three locations that are holding it in place, and then I, I swiped it down to an uh, uh, inch and a half pipe there uh, to go in. Now, I can get away with this on this home. That's These walls are plank walls. This is an old farmhouse built in 1890. The outside walls of this house are 10 inches uh, wide by 4 inches thick. It's called a plank home. And those boards go from top to bottom on the house. Uh, so when I lag that in there, it's solid. It's not like newer homes, which are mostly plywood. So um, so I can get away with that. I don't recommend that on every home. Uh, obviously, mounting it on, a, on another home might be a little different. So I'm going to show you that. Take a look at the wind speed here then. I'm going to show you the time. We're going to study 10 mile an hour wind, 13 mile an hour gust. Yeah. 